Well, hey there, folks. Welcome back once again to the Hop House. It's Eddie here. Time for a, another beer review. It's my first virgin beer review here in my new kitchen. I feel like I've been touched for the first time. If you just found us here on YouTube, then welcome along to the Hop House. We're called that because we like hoppy beer. We like good house music. If you like either of those or both, give us one of those. Give us a like, share, subscribe to this channel. Are you ready for a virgin review? Okay, so this is, uh, we're going down the craft beer route now, and this is a beer that was in, it was part of my birthday present actually, from the other half, from the missish, from the wife. So she got me a little cylinder tube with three craft beers in, I think she ordered it somewhere off Amazon, uh, and it included two beers I'd had before, but this one I've never had, so I was quite intrigued. So I thought, ooh, I'm going to virgin review it. So we have this. In a 330 milliliter can, look at it. Look at him. It's Willy Wonka with a walking stick. London Fields Hackney Hopster Pale Ale coming in at 4.2% ABV. 330 milliliter can. Never heard of this beer before. Never heard of this brewery before. So, um, in all honesty, look, he's hypnotising you with his eyes. Mm. Yeah, in all honesty, I don't know what to expect. Uh, London Fields, Hackney Hopster. I'm guessing that the brewery's London Fields. Yeah, London Fields Brewery. I'm hoping they're out of London. They are. Hackney in London. Hence, it's called the Hackney Hopster. I guess that's supposed to be a hipster. Even though it looks a bit like Willy Wonka. Right, should we get it out and do the glass? I have got the... Um, Oracle Micropub glass for this one because I love this glass. If you're new to this channel, if you ever come to um, Telford and you're down at Ironbridge, go check out that place. It's called the Coracle Micropub and um, it's it's a cracking little micropub. It's, it does some really nice cast beers, real ales, keg beers, craft beers, canned craft beer as well. And then uh, in the summertime, there's a lovely sort of beer garden out the back. So there you go. That's the coracle. Right. Beer then. In the glow. It's alright, doesn't it? Looks like a uh, sort of amber to orange coloured beer. It's pretty damn hazy. There's, there is some carbonation. I can see I can see bubbles in the glass. Nice fluffy little white head on it. Look at that. Look at how it jigs about. Jig, 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 jig. Looks pretty decent. Like it. We'll do a bit more laser vision a little bit later on in the video, but right now I'm going to get my nose in there. So again, if you're new, this is where we uh, go for some aroma. We give it a whiff, see what we can sniff. Quite orangey. Orangey peachy notes. Maybe a little bit of passion fruit, not much. Very orange forward. Like the colour. Maybe a little bit of cracker bread malt. I like lager malt that's a bit more crisp. Smells um smells quite fruity though. Smells good. I like it. Peach. Orange peach. Maybe a bit of mango. It's more tropical than it is citrus. You're not getting bitter grapefruit pithiness. You're getting like sweet tropical fruits out of that. Which um, smells pretty good to me. Look at it. Look at it lace. Jig, 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 jig on the laser vision. Look at that. Look at that. Looks like a pretty damn good beer. Right, should we go for the taste? So bottoms up down the hatch. Now then. Unfortunately, it doesn't taste as good as it smells. Very fizzy, very thin, like fizzy, watery thin. Um, 
You have to taste quite nice. You have to twist. Uh, have to twist. You have to taste is quite bitey. The body's not good though. The body's quite poor. It's almost like it's been forced carbonated. If that makes any sense. Um, you're getting that the, the orange bill that I said to it, the orange and a bit of peach. It's like it's almost like it, it goes down the side of your tongue, but it's forced. No, no, I ain't keen on that. There's something not right about it. Something not right about the beer, in my opinion. Um, all these beer reviews and everything that I do on the channel. Uh, it's all my opinion. I'm not a. I'm not a brewer. I don't brew my own beer. I'm not an expert. I don't work in the industry. Um, but to me, something about that that's not right. It's just. It looks okay. It smells lovely. The flavour is very hit and miss. It's the body. The body's just. See what it says on the can. Dry and light character with notes of passion fruit and citrus. Ingredients, water, malted barley, hops and yeast. Very surprised that there's no oats in that considering how thick it is. Well, how cloudy it is, sorry. The, the, the smell, the smell and the look is very deceptive as to how it tastes. Smells lovely. Mm. Something's gone wrong there, in my opinion. It's not. It just it just doesn't taste right. It doesn't taste right in the in the mouth feel. It just tastes really thin and watery, like this this bump of carbonation. It just doesn't go, and then you've got this like bitterness on the uh, in the aftertaste. It it feels like it's been forced. Maybe this is. I, mean, I don't know where this has come from. I've not heard of. If anybody's heard of what are they called, London Fields Brewery. I mean, they have got a website on there. LondonFieldsBrewery.co.uk. They are out of Hackney in London. There's a customer helpline, should I ring it and tell them that there's something very wrong with this beer? I'm not that bad. Yeah, to me, the rest of that is going to go down the sink. So it's a thumbs down. It's quite a quick review and it's quite a very quick review. It's a thumbs down for me. Um, the flavour, the smell and the appearance are the best bits about it. Unfortunately, the, the, the body and the flavour, there's something a bit wrong there and it's not for me. So, thumbs down. Um, if you want to go check them out or if anybody knows anything about London Fields, London Fields Brewery, put it in the comments below. This is my experience of the beer and I'm no expert, so probably still brew be beer better than I could. Like, share, subscribe. We'll see you for another beer review on the Hop House. Ciao for now, people.